So the reason why we organized that uh, workshop is because through many bilateral discussions we had with most of INSP, there was sometimes a misunderstanding about what was really uh, done and ready for deployment. And the intention was really to spend these two days together, first to exchange about the different needs in different airports in Europe, but also about what's feasible, what's available from the CESAR uh, 1 program and what can be deployed. And we do this by um, running real-time simulation with hands-on so like this they can really see real-time uh, what the controller and all the controller are working and what can be the interest for them uh, for such a solution that can be time-based, recat, recat pairwise uh, in their environment. At Copenhagen Airport, which is the one that is the biggest one uh, we're handling in, uh, in Denmark, uh, they are having some quite um, ambitious expanding plans over the coming years so we'll need to be able to handle uh, an increase in traffic. Vienna is a windy city, so we have many days throughout the year with a significant uh, wind speed are present at the airport. And uh, for that reason, we are looking into the time-based uh, separation option for arriving traffic. Well, for the time being, we'll be looking at both recat and time-based separation, and we'll try to find out which one gives us the best benefit. And perhaps if they both give us benefits, we'll look into implementing both of them. What I'm really glad to hear is that uh, actually people developing this concept are, or these concepts are insisting on very thorough analysis before you go any of directions. I think uh, Eurocontrol, of course, is in a position with a, lot, with a large network and uh, a large number of contacts. So I think it's good that they share the, the built-up knowledge from projects like NSSR. And, um, yeah, we are happy to work with them also to see how we can uh, uh, really materialize the solutions as developed. So. What uh, we expect from this workshop is to first uh, create some interest, so basically that people will realize what's there and uh, to find a way to structure how we can support them uh, for deployment, for also giving them the right information at the right time for uh, facilitating their relation and their uh, discussion with the regulation authority. If I think of, of the safety case behind RECAT, of the safety case behind uh, the ideas of time-based separation, these are huge projects itself and we wouldn't be able to do it on our own. So we are really thankful uh, that we have the opportunity to do it together with Eurocontrol.